Okay there, so last trading day of the week, Friday, July 9th. Um couple good plays today. Nothing super crazy besides a couple plays really. Everything was mostly an ignore. Uh let's start off with SGOC. We've been talking recently, information technology sector has been hot. We had a lot of runners, Emrin, Alf, BSQR, BLIN, XELA, um, 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 I think TRCH was one. Okay, so yeah, not super low float. Didn't totally matter considering the volume, but would have definitely preferred it being super low float. But it didn't matter, as we can see here, as we had three breakouts line up. We had a intraday high day break. On the daily chart here, we have a previous high day break. We have a multi-year break, multi-month as well, kind of here. Um, this doesn't go back until like 2014, 15, uh, that we start seeing some resistance. And then, yeah, that was kind of it. I, I got in at 438, just a starter. I was hoping we would get some more consolidation here, holding the high day and right around the two breakout levels we got in the mid low to mid fours. Um, the stock had other plans in mind and it just took off. As we can see here, volume was just insane. Got halted a couple times. And I took it for two dollars a share, got out at six forty. That was pretty nice. Um Yeah. Could like it was insane just because I had a starter like on three hundred shares. It's gonna have been a couple thousand dollars. Um, it's whatever. I'm just gonna enjoy being part of it. Usually, it's something in hindsight. I look like, wow, that was a nice play. Um, now I'm playing it, so it feels good. Um, yeah, not much really to say here. This was quite a simple play. We got the sector. We got the volume. Um, I would, I guess you could say float, considering the volume was just so high, it was rotating a float. Um, but yeah, it really wasn't that low, just a lot of demand. Key levels getting broken on good volume, holding trend. It's really just that simple sometimes. Um, this one, not much thinking as it just took off. Um, yeah, so that's SGOC. Earlier in the day, there was NGG, which really annoyed me because it was a solid, beautiful multi-day bounce off this recent runner from the 10s to 78 or 79 was the high. And this is exactly out of my watch list. If we can go here. What's today? Today's the 9th. Not one. Um... I know I put it in here, right here. Main watch for a multi-day bounce if it doesn't gap up too much. I was just looking for a quick five dollars. Um, offer double that pretty much. What? Uh, why I missed this really was it didn't consolidate enough. Uh, it was just too early. I didn't have enough to really go off of. I like five minutes of consolidation. Something I got from Tim Gratani. Um, seeing the way he's he plays these much better than the way I used to play him. I'm getting much more success trading it the way he does. So it was nice to really have a shift in in this pattern because I really did completely ignored it until probably about two months ago when the market started warming up and I learned it and it just made sense to me. Uh, the entry would have been right here over 48 if we just had Three more minutes of consolidation, maybe four, but just a minute, just something longer. This whole just tank in that one minute just holds down and then we're right back up. Not for me. Um, I'm okay with missing it. It was a bit annoying just because I really was waiting for it. But it is what it is. I ended up playing SGOC, so that's why you got to be patient. All you need is one trade. You don't need to, need to nail everything. Uh, so we get a nice solid move right here from 48, goes straight to 56, and then tips a little bit, and you get that next rip. And then as we talk, actually I've mentioned in previous videos, not this one. Um, as we get here, that last spike, it just goes parabolic, and the volume just gets exhausted, and then 
right after that happens, really just kind of get smacked. We do half of what it half it did, so there was no continuation. Uh, we get a little choppy, and then we get volume exhaust again. So this is all just topping action. Um, good time to consider selling low float, and it's not the hottest sector. It's just a recent hot runner. It. Brought in a couple consumer discretionary plays as I talked about in other videos, but yeah, is that it? well, I see these are really kind of the main plays of today. There is also MTSL, <sighs> choppy after hours mover. I played it, took it for a dollar, um, five forty to six forty. Um, yeah, so. Kind of a boring day, for being honest. If it really wasn't for SGOC, today would have just been awful. Because I would have missed, missed any GG and not really had anything. But, yeah, it really wasn't that active of a day. Just a couple, one insane spiker, one solid bread and butter bounce uh, pattern I have. Not not much else. There was a lot of, lot of stuff moving. But not much was a solid, um, good odds pattern. There was nothing really great. It was just really this one with the breakout. Everything was lining up. And then an EGG just didn't line up correctly for me, properly for me. So, sit so on the sidelines and we'll just track it. Hopefully we get a good bounce with this play. It doesn't, you know, screw me over. But might take the risk, considering now that I've seen a couple times that they might not wait five minutes. Um, but yeah, just kind of taking a day at a time. Now we're kind of done for the week. Just gonna mellow out, um, track any trade trades, um, go over the week, any lessons uh, in my spreadsheets, obviously. I'm obviously doing it right now as a video for the day, but we'll probably make another one for the week. Yeah, that's kind of it. Two decent plays today. Offered good money. Um, it was a decent day for me. What are we at? July, July, July. After justice, that's that one trade. So yeah, started off shaky, but here we go, so another, you know, not too bad of a month so far, still got time to really take off, uh, market's still warm, SGOC might bring in some more plays for the, the information tech sector, and yeah, that's it for me.